Ever feel like your emotions are controlling you? Discover how stoicism and emotional intelligence can help you stay calm and composed even in an age of outrage. We live in an age of outrage. Every day we are bombarded with news and opinions that seem designed to provoke us. A digital coliseum where emotions run high, anger spreads like wildfire, opinions are weapons and every post, tweet or comment can feel like a battle. It's easy to get swept up in the current, to react impulsively, driven by the heat of the moment. We find ourselves caught in a cycle of outrage, stress and frustration to let our emotions control us. We become prisoners of our own reactions, unable to break free from the constant barrage of negativity. But there's a better way, a way to rise above the noise and find peace amidst the chaos, a path to navigate this digital age with resilience and grace. It requires effort and practice, but the rewards are profound. This path is paved with stoicism and emotional intelligence, or EQ. These ancient and modern philosophies offer us the tools to regain control over our lives. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, teaches us to focus on what we can control, our thoughts and reactions. It reminds us that we have the power to choose our response to any situation. EQ gives us the self-awareness and empathy to understand and manage our emotions and those of others. It helps us build stronger, more compassionate relationships. In this essay, we'll explore how these powerful tools can help us master our reactions in this age of outrage. We'll delve into practical strategies and real-life examples, showing how anyone can cultivate a more balanced and thoughtful approach to the challenges of modern life. By embracing stoicism and EQ, we can transform our lives. We can learn to respond with wisdom instead of anger, to act with intention rather than impulse. This journey is not about suppressing our emotions, but about understanding them and using them to our advantage. Join us as we uncover the secrets to thriving in the outrage age. Together, we can find a path to inner peace and outer harmony, even in the most turbulent times. The internet for all its wonders can be a breeding ground for outrage. Social media algorithms feed us a steady diet of content designed to provoke. We find ourselves trapped in echo chambers surrounded by those who share and amplify our biases. This constant exposure to negativity takes a toll. It fuels our anger, anxiety and stress. It damages our relationships and erodes our well-being. We become reactive, easily triggered and quick to judge. But it doesn't have to be this way. We can choose to engage differently. We can choose to master our reactions. Imagine this. You're scrolling through your social media feed when you come across a post that makes your blood boil. It's offensive, insensitive and downright wrong. Your immediate impulse is to lash out, to argue, to make the other person see the error of their ways. But then you pause. You take a deep breath, you remember your stoic training, you ask yourself, is this within my control? The answer, of course, is no. You can't control what other people post online, you can't control their opinions or beliefs. The only thing you can control is your own reaction. This, in essence, is the power of stoicism. It's about recognizing what's within our control and what's not. It's about choosing to focus our energy on what we can influence, our thoughts, our emotions, our actions. In the heat of the moment, when we're faced with something that triggers our anger or frustration, the most powerful tool we have is the pause, that brief moment of space between stimulus and response. In that pause, we can choose to react differently. We can choose to respond with reason, with empathy, with compassion, or we can choose to walk away. detachment your secret weapon. One of the key principles of stoicism is detachment. This doesn't mean becoming indifferent or emotionless. It means recognizing that our emotions, while powerful, are fleeting. They don't define us. When we detach ourselves from our emotions, we gain perspective. We see the situation more clearly. We're less likely to be swept away by the current of outrage. The second arrow of anger. The Buddha once said that getting angry is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. This vivid imagery captures the essence of how anger primarily harms the person who harbors it. When we allow anger to take root in our hearts, it is we who suffer the most, not the target of our anger. This perfectly illustrates the self-inflicted suffering of anger. 
Anger can cloud our judgment, lead to rash decisions and create a cycle of negativity that is hard to break. It can affect our mental and physical health, leading to stress, anxiety and even chronic illnesses. The Stoics had a similar analogy, the first arrow and the second arrow. This concept is deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, which emphasizes the importance of our reactions to external events. The Stoics believed that while we cannot control what happens to us, we can control how we respond. The first arrow represents the initial event that causes us pain or anger. This arrow is unavoidable. Life is full of challenges, setbacks and disappointments. These are the first arrows that strike us and they are a natural part of the human experience. The second arrow, however, is the one we inflict upon ourselves through our reaction. This is the arrow of our own making, the one that we have the power to avoid. It is our response to the first arrow that determines whether we will suffer further. It's the anger, the resentment, the bitterness that we choose to hold on to. These emotions can fester and grow, leading to a prolonged state of suffering. By holding on to these negative feelings, we are essentially shooting ourselves with the second arrow. Stoicism teaches us to avoid the second arrow through practices like mindfulness, meditation and journaling. We can learn to observe our thoughts and emotions without becoming entangled in them. These practices help us to create a space between the stimulus and our response, to acknowledge the first arrow without letting it control us. By recognizing that the first arrow is beyond our control, we can focus on what we can control, our reaction. This shift in perspective can lead to greater emotional resilience and inner peace. To choose our response rather than reacting impulsively. By taking a moment to pause and reflect, we can make more thoughtful and deliberate choices. This empowers us to break the cycle of anger and suffering and to respond to life's challenges with grace and wisdom. Emotional intelligence, know thyself. Emotional intelligence, or EQ, is another powerful tool for mastering our reactions. It's the ability to understand and manage our own emotions, as well as the emotions of others. The first step in developing EQ is self-awareness. This means paying attention to our emotions, understanding what triggers them, and recognizing how they manifest in our thoughts and behaviors. Once we have a better understanding of our own emotional landscape, we can begin to manage our reactions more effectively. We can learn to identify our triggers and to develop strategies for coping with them in a healthy way. Empathy, the bridge to understanding. Empathy is another crucial component of emotional intelligence. It's, well, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. In an age of online anonymity, it's easy to forget that there are real people behind the screens, people with their own thoughts, feelings and experiences. When we approach online interactions with empathy, we're less likely to react with anger or judgment. We're more likely to listen, to understand and to find common ground. Empathy doesn't mean condoning bad behavior. It simply means choosing to see the humanity in others, even when they're at their worst. So how do we put these principles into practice? In a world where digital interactions dominate our daily lives, it can be challenging to maintain a sense of calm and rationality. The principles of Stoicism combined with emotional intelligence can serve as a powerful guide. How do we cultivate Stoicism and EQ in our daily lives? It's not just about reading philosophy or attending workshops. It's about integrating these principles into our everyday actions and reactions. Here are a few practical tips that can help you navigate the digital landscape with a stoic mindset and emotional intelligence. Practice the pause. Before you react to something online, take a deep breath and count to 10. This simple act can prevent impulsive reactions and give you a moment to consider your response. This will give you time to cool down and respond more thoughtfully. Choose your battles wisely. Not every online interaction deserves your energy. It's important to recognize which discussions are worth engaging in and which are better left alone. Not every online interaction deserves your energy. By choosing your battles wisely, you can serve your emotional resources for more meaningful engagements. Learn to disengage from arguments that are going nowhere. Seek out diverse perspectives. Make an effort to follow people who challenge your views. 
This doesn't mean you have to agree with them, but it helps you understand different viewpoints. Make an effort to follow people who challenge your views. This will help you broaden your perspective and develop empathy for those who see the world differently. This will help you broaden your perspective and develop empathy for those who see the world differently. Limit your exposure. If you find yourself constantly triggered by social media, take a break. It's okay to step away from the digital world to recharge. If you find yourself constantly triggered by social media, take a break. Unplugging can help you regain your sense of balance and focus on what truly matters. Unplug for a while and focus on activities that bring you joy and peace. Whether it's practicing yoga, hiking in nature, or engaging in a creative hobby, these activities can help you reconnect with yourself and find inner peace. Reflect on your day and journal your thoughts. This practice can help you process your emotions and gain clarity on your experiences. By incorporating these stoic principles and emotional intelligence practices into your daily routine, you can navigate the digital age with greater resilience and peace of mind. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate digital interactions, but to approach them with a balanced and thoughtful mindset. With practice, you can cultivate a sense of calm and rationality, even in the most chaotic digital environments. The age of outrage presents us with a choice. We can either be swept away by the current of negativity, or we can choose to rise above it. We can choose to master our reactions and engage with the world in a more mindful and compassionate way. Stoicism and emotional intelligence provide us with the tools we need to navigate this challenging landscape. By cultivating self-awareness, empathy and resilience, we can break free from the cycle of outrage and create a more positive and productive online experience for ourselves and others. This isn't just about individual transformation, it's about creating a collective shift in online culture. By sharing our stories, our struggles and our successes, we can inspire others to do the same. Let's start a conversation about how we can use Stoicism and EQ to create a more mindful and compassionate digital world. Share your experiences, your tips and your insights using the hashtag hash Stoic Digital. Together, we can create a ripple effect of positive change. This is just the beginning of the journey. There are countless resources available to help you deepen your understanding of Stoicism and emotional intelligence. Here are a few suggestions. Books by Ryan Holiday, by Marcus Aurelius, by Daniel Goleman. Websites, The Daily Stoic, dailystoic.com, The Emotionally Intelligent Leader, psychologytoday.com. Podcasts, The Daily Stoic Podcast, The Happiness Lab, The Tim Ferriss Show, the path to mastering our reactions is a lifelong journey, but it's a journey worth taking. By embracing stoicism and emotional intelligence, we can navigate the age of outrage with grace, resilience and wisdom. Have you ever caught yourself in the heat of the moment only to regret it later? Share your experiences in the comments below. How do you handle difficult conversations or emotional turmoil? Let's learn from each other. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.